I, there's no telling what happens with the Warriors. They have two games on the road to finish this season. We know about their road woes. I got killed yesterday for saying, yo, this is the best team, and they have all their guys, and there's no excuses. But I believe it. And and if they get Andrew, Andrew Wiggins back, what, he's coming to the game today, I guess, and, and all this stuff, they should be fine. They have all their guys. They're healthy just in time. They they We don't have to worry about continuity. This mob just won a title 10 months ago. We know what they can do. They won the title on the road. I don't care about the road win stuff. When the playoffs start, these guys have everything they need. They're the best team. They should be one of the favorites. They're the reigning champs. Please do not bring the narrative that the Warriors are underdogs. I understand Andrew Wiggins has life going on, and I sympathize with that, and I understand that. Steve Kerr said he's been working out. He's healthy. He's been playing. He's ready to play ball. So if that's what they're telling me, that's all I can go off of. That's what they, their coach told me. They should be good to go. I don't think they're avoiding everybody. But two road games, they might end up in a, in a worse spot than they need to be. Uh, but they're definitely not avoiding the Suns. I actually think they would play really well against the Suns. That's interesting. I, I would have thought avoiding the Suns would be the, the thing that they're supposed to do. Shams, that was the Segui that we were looking for. Andrew Wiggins, we finally heard his name. Uh, we saw his name yesterday talked about, and, and you heard Eddie mention he was going to the game. What, what does that mean exactly? What's the deal? Yes, yeah, so Andrew Wiggins is flying back to the Bay. The plan is for him to go to the game tonight. Uh, they play the Thunder, of course, at home. And, and he's not going to play in the game. It's unclear which of these last couple games he's going to play in. Uh, but you, you would think he would use the next few days to ramp up, get in, in shape, in game conditioning. He has been working out every day in Minneapolis with a trainer. That's what he's told the team. So they're going to reassess him when he gets back to the Bay Area. Um, it's uncertain when he's going to make his return. And the reason he's been away is that his father, Mitchell Wiggins, has been dealing with a serious medical condition from, from what I'm told. And so that's something that's still, I think, going to be on his mind, something that he's still going to um, have to deal with now that even though he's back with the team. But this is this is a major get. If he's 100% Andrew Wiggins uh, physically, um, you know, emotionally, if he's there, th this team is as dangerous as any team to, w to win the championship. There's no question about it. Um, but there's really no controlling where you play uh, or, or who you play because if you try to tinker with it and you, you lose a couple games on purpose, then you end up in the play-in. And then what if you get knocked out of the mm. play-in? So I think you take the shirt thing, you take a playoff berth. I mean, I don't, I can't speak for the Warriors, but I assume they would rather be the fifth seed playing the Suns than play in, in you know, as a play-in tournament seed, seven or eight. Because then you still put yourself in a position where you could get knocked out like they did a, a couple years ago when they had home court advantage against the Lake, I believe the Lakers uh, and the Grizzlies. I mean, look, in years past, you could sort of manipulate it a little bit when there was a little more uh, a leeway in between spots, but you, you really can't do that this season. If Wiggins comes back or when Wiggins comes back, Chandler, what, what does that do for this team? It, it does a lot because he gives it a whole different dynamic. He gives a whole different look. You can post him up off the block. He gets out in transition. He defends. He's long. He's athletic. He was arguably their best player last year down the stretch. He was, he was incredible. Um, and, and they miss him. They have a hole there with him gone. So it's, it's, it's huge for him to come back and to kind of provide that piece that they've been missing all, pretty much all year long. And again, this him, I think it's important that he gets back in the lineup and he can play as in many of these last couple of games as he can just kind of get his feet under him, get his legs, get his conditioning. Cause as much as you can work out, you know, one on oh, five on five with the coaching staff, it's tough to simulate a game and, and it's really tough to simulate a playoff game. So I think the sooner he gets back uh, is obviously, you know, big for him and the team. But yeah, this is this is this is a guy who gives them a whole nother look when he's in the lineup.